What's up guys, Nick here from Penguin Saber Academy and I am joined with Secretary Adam and today we have another endurance fight for you. This is going to be Frenchy who's on our right hand side in the Iron Man mask and uh, Anthony on the left hand side in his first match in the endurance fights. He has a total of two, that's right, and if you just heard that blooper that I probably am just going to edit out. Anthony actually had two fights. This was his first one, and the fight with Jason was his second one. So there's that bombshell from like two videos ago. Anyway, going into this, uh, this is a heavy grade blade endurance fight. So that means uh, one point for every action, whether it is clean or not. When simultaneous hits are done, there is no point awarded. So I have seen this, but for once you actually have not seen this fight. So I'm curious, Anthony versus Frenchie, a matchup we actually see a lot, but this specific interaction, what do you think? Oh, no matter what, their fights are always interesting. Ooh, it, it's definitely hard to say because I, I've seen it go both ways quite often. You know, they're both really good fighters, but the problem is, is um, Anthony manages to hype up Frenchie too much. Frenchie might get really sloppy. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start with round one. Remember, three minutes on the clock for them. Uh, Frenchie coming in pretty aggressive right off the bat, so he is a little bit competitive right now. I could not tell because uh, there was a bit of a glare on the screen, and plus it's in the dark in the quarter. Excuse me, that's going to be Anthony's point one zero. Looks like Frenchie conceded. And here we go. Uh, Anthony coming forward again. He's sauntering forward. Frenchie coming in with a bit of a knee. Looks like all that train, that all that outside saber training is definitely starting to pull off. Ooh, speaking of that knee, it gets clipped on the side. He hates getting hit in the knee. Those hurt. I am victim to those all the time. I can tell you those are not fun hits. And ooh, looks like he catches the inside of Anthony's arm. That was an interesting, yeah. interesting little point there. That's usually not what that's for. No. Typically, a guard is to prepare for a block or an attack, but he used his guard to take a point. Very interesting. Yeah, that's very, very weird. He did a fencing stop cut with a, what is that, long sword guard? Like, I'm, gonna, I'm yeah. a little fixated on that. Yeah. It, it was very interesting. That I, I believe that specific guard is called a hanging guard. It's a very effective guard, probably one of the more popular guards. But, you know, he definitely used it in a very smart way. Uh, you say smart way, I say Frenchy way because he's very unorthodox. And Frenchy is actually slowly taking the lead away. Looks like he gets that swipe under Anthony's belly there. Anthony wearing a thick armor. I should actually also add, both of these fighters are wearing armor. Frenchy is using motorcycle armor. Anthony is using, uh, I actually don't know, but it's a very large protective armor around his torso. So these guys are willing to hit each other significantly harder because of that protection. So we're probably going to see a lot of power hits. I don't know why I decided to say that now instead of the play-by-play. -play. Uh, Anthony's coming in slowly, but surely. Frenchy kind of stepping off a little bit. He likes to go over to the right side of the frame where he can't see him. That looks pretty close to Simo, but it looks like the refs are going to go with Anthony because Anthony is looking like a snack right now. Uh, we're looking at three to five, still with a two-point deficit. Frenchy looking like he's a little riled up. He's leaning a little bit more forward, which he usually does when he's getting riled. Ooh, not sure if he should commit there. Anthony with a large swing. Didn't clip him. Frenchy with a good block. Uh, did Frenchy get onside with that yeah. stab? Yes, he did. That's a six to three. That was a, that was a fun interaction there. That was a very typical, felt like a Western standoff a little bit. Ooh, Anthony going with low guard form three a little bit there. Uh, this will be interesting. Ooh, Ooh very large very hit. Nice. Frenchy attempted a five block, it looks like, but instead went to that guard that you were uh, sucking dick with earlier. Yeah, uh, the, the hanging guard. Uh, it's really important that the hanging guard, it, it's not supposed to be used as a defense. It's supposed to be used as a preparation for a defense. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Frenchie just, you know, confusing the application. That's okay. Looks like he was out of distance there and Anthony clipped him. Uh, or is that Frenchie? No, he Frenchie does land 7-5. Frenchie with two points in a row where he's sliding. That's different for Frenchie. I don't see that very often. We'll probably talk about that at the end of the round. 7-5, uh, Anthony's coming in. Suki is looking a little worried for him, but that's okay. We're all worried for him. Suki, don't worry, dog. Don't worry. That's the dog in the background. Her name is Suki. Uh, Anthony pushing Frenchie out of frame. Frenchie's a little afraid to engage. Frenchie's definitely a little... Oh, Frenchie, never mind. Eating my words immediately. Frenchie is doing some, like... Spartan spear advanced thing. I don't know what that was. That's not in any martial art book I've seen. Uh, we're looking at six to seven here. Frenchie with the wide swing. Anthony clipping the inside of arm. That wide swing was not to his advantage. He should he should have been a lot more uh, more like rich or more calculated and more precise. Uh, we're looking at seven seven. That's a very lucky number. Frenchie jumping around trying to be Miguel. I guess at this point he's doing a lot of things that every everyone else does. Um, 
Anthony kind of bearing down a little bit. Uh, ooh, thrust that misses. Ooh, he clips Anthony on the shoulder there. I've noticed Anthony doesn't have any shoulder protection, actually. I wonder if those hits are going to mount up later and slightly injure him a little bit. Well, not really injure, but bruise and maim. It makes it harder to throw, and they're coming back at each other. By throw, I mean, like, throw an attack. And Frenchie testing the waters there. Anthony with a miss. Frenchie with a miss. That was two misses in a row. Anthony with form five hits him on the hand. Well executed. It is 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh... Yeah, 8-8. Eight, eight. I don't have anything for the number 8-8. Eight, eight. It's divisible by 2. Uh, 2 is a prime number. All right, and here we go again. They're lining up. Uh, at, they said the word fight, and here they go. And they're going to stare at each other for a bit. Anthony, two hands. Frenchie, two hands. Frenchie just needing to extend. Anthony overextending his hand there. That's just a small technical error. Um, you know, like, that's just a, that, that was an error you shouldn't have made, Anthony. That, that should have easily been your point. But instead, you just let Frenchie tap you. Uh, looks like that's going to be the end. That is the end of round one. I forgot this one does not go to the time limit. End of round one. What do you think? It's definitely interesting. Um, we're seeing some really interesting moves from both fighters. Uh, one, one thing I do want to point out is, uh, and I will say this, and I say this to him all the time, uh, Frenchie loves to get on his knees, and I hate it a lot because it leaves him wide open. Another thing about Frenchie, he likes to do a lot of flair, but don't make, don't confuse flair with lack of accuracy. When Frenchie wants to be, he can be deadly accurate, but he does like to make the match look beautiful. Yes, and that's a very, uh, that's a, looking beautiful is very much different from being true to form. Uh, the reason fights can get beautiful is when your um, uh, sparring partner plays into that, and Anthony's just not willing to play that game tonight. He is looking for blood. He is looking for the victory. And since he's not looking to play with Frenchie because he knows he'll probably lose that fight, he's just going for the technical one-shots, and that's been looking really good for him. Now, this is a pretty close fight. Uh, both fighters are looking actually quite decent, especially with some unorthodox moves from both of them. Uh, who do you think is the favorite to win going into round two? Uh, so far right now, I think it's Frenchie. He seems to be more calculated. He is throwing a lot of flair in there, which is messing him up. That's why Anthony managed to get so many points. But when he's not doing the flair, he's really nailing those hits. He's really getting in there fast. He's really being aggressive. And it, it's great. And he's taking time to step back and see what Anthony is about to do. And then he goes for it. It's very calculated and it's very smart. Yep, I will agree. I actually think Renchi does have the advantage in this. So this will be interesting going into round two. And let us begin round two. Uh, they are three more minutes are on the clock. It is looking eight to nine. Uh, it's kind of starting out the same tempo, both being very careful of each other. And here we go, Frenchie with the slide, getting down on one knee like you hate, Adam. And looks like that's going to be a point to Anthony, unless Nick does form zero. Nope, and Nick is agreeing. That's nine to nine. Very close match indeed. Once the scoreboard, the scoreboard will change, I promise. There it goes, it changed. And Frenchie with the slide, looks like he missed. Anthony with the slap, getting into that interesting low form three, low form five guard that he likes so much. Anthony getting that point, 10-9. Uh, Frenchie trying to do a little bit of capoeira with uh, Richard's flunge. That's an amalgamation of forms that just didn't work out for him. That's going to be 11-9, Anthony's lead. And here we go, Frenchie kind of waiting for Anthony to come now. Looks like he's trying to kind of gain focus back. Frenchie going out of frame. Anthony swinging at what looks to be nothing. Uh, look right over Lauren's head, and we might get something here. Uh, oh, here comes Frenchie. He's back. <laughs> I don't know why. That reminded me a little bit of a train coming back. Like, choo -choo! <laughs> uh, That being said, Frenchie got that point on Anthony's hands. And here we go. He is stepping forward. Uh, you know what I just noticed? Is is Anthony using Richard's Suba Saber? He is, in fact, using Richard's Suba Saber. I edited this and didn't know that. He's using Richard's Suba Saber. A Suba, for those that don't know, is the guard that is around Anthony's hilt. Uh, it's a little circle metal thing that helps catch blocks. I did not know that. I ref this fight. I edited this fight. I have rewatched this fight at least five times up to this point, and I have not caught that. I am behooved by that. I wonder, uh, that probably is playing a huge factor to this, but honestly, the score isn't really reflecting that right now. I, I honestly don't think it's playing as big as a factor as you think it will, mainly because Anthony does not know how to use the Suba. Richard knows how to use the Suba and he uses it masterfully. It, it takes a bit of practice to know how to use a Suba, but once you do it, you can really take 
huge advantage of it, but Anthony's just not doing that. Yeah, that was a thunderous hit on Frenchie's side right there. You can see him reeling off on that. But see, that's what happens when you do the knee and you start doing things over and over again. You become consistent. Your opponent starts finding weaknesses. And there's another strike to the side. Two side strikes in a row. Those, I don't care if you're wearing armor, those will at least leave you gasping for a little bit of breath. Remember, Frenchie doesn't have full protection. He has some protection on the front rib cage and on his arms, but he doesn't have kidney and lower torso protection. So those will add up in pain a lot. Uh, we're looking at 14 to 13 now. Frenchie is establishing a form one guard. Now he's going in form five, it looks like. Anthony's staying in form two uh, with his one-handed. Frenchie now doing, what is that, hanging guard, you said? Going into hanging guard. Now he's going into low form five guard. Sorry. Uh, no, continue. Okay, and he was hit. <laughs> <laughs> 15 to 13, Frenchie in the lead by two points. We are just the power duo over here. Uh, looks like Anthony's pushing him off screen again. Ooh, does he catch him there? Does he catch him there? We don't know because Frenchie's off screen. And Frenchie gets Anthony under the arm. 16 to 13. Oh man, this is a this is a fight. Frenchie establishing a Shi Cho guard now. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. That's gonna have to be a beep. Beep that in post, Nick. Um, and here we go. Frenchie with another slide. How many slides has he done? Uh, that way too many, honestly. Like I feel like it's every other point he gets down on one knee. It's like he's proposing to Anthony or something. It, it, that looks like what he's doing. The problem is, is he's going into the slides over and over and over again. Even though the first he's caught up in the first time the slide worked. But the problem is, Anthony already knows how to deal with the slides, so every time he goes for that slide, he fails. Yeah, every time though that Frenchie, like, yes. <laughs> I had a brain fart there. Ooh, Fren on one knee again. Yep. On one knee again. Frenchie shaking his head. Frenchie not looking very happy. Nick doing something. Amy nodding. He's going on that knee. It looks like he's going to get that point. Oh, because his bell got rung. That's why. So that should be 18 to 15. Oh, I didn't edit the score there. Did you see that? See yeah. that? Interesting. Yeah. I got to fix that. That's a lot of things I got to fix. All right. So it's 15 to 17, I think. Um, and we are going in, assuming it is. Uh, Frenchie just nodding. Looks like Anthony caught the inside of his hand. That's 16 to 17. Uh, Anthony looks like his back is hurting a little bit. Has to do a little bit of bowing. That could be because he's arching too far forward when he's in his footwork. They are re-engaging now. Frenchie's lightsaber is off and they're going to be coming at each other. Uh, Anthony doing some wide swings, trying to catch Frenchie's blade. Frenchie out of distance swing. Anthony going in for a large big swing. Doesn't catch him. Ooh, and there he goes again with the rush the rush into the upper head. Anthony going into the side. Now, Frenchie's not doing the slide, but now he's doing it without the slide. Having a little bit more success considering he did just get that point. Uh, 17 to 17. Frenchie's lightsaber is back on. Anthony looking a little bit roughed up himself. And he is going to be coming in. Ooh, big, big swing. Another big swing. Looks like Frenchie got that point under the arm. 18 to 17. Woo, mama, this is this is a fight. This is a very, very fight. It's definitely a very intense fight. Very much so. Hits him on the shoulder. 18 to 17 is the current score. Does that score change? I don't really know. 18 to 18. Oh, my God. <laughs> if we didn't do the Miguel and Richard fight, I'd have a lot more energy. Uh, ooh, oh. big hit there from <laughs> Frenchie. <laughs> Uh, 19 to 18, looks like he got hit there. Damie is dancing to the music of this playing, which is why the audio is muted on the video because copyright laws exist. Uh, 19 to 18, Anthony coming in. Frenchie trying to be a stoic human being yet again. Uh, what's gonna happen here? Fool's guard from Frenchie. And here we go, Anthony's coming in. Oop, uh, gets him right on the hand. Couldn't really see the Frenchie. That's the end of round two. That, that transitioned very quickly. Yes. Um, thoughts? Um, it, it's very interesting. Um, yeah, I, uh, seeing something with Frenchie that you see quite often is that he'll succeed with one thing and then he'll repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. And it just acts as a crutch for him. It doesn't help him. Um, so... And, and, and Anthony knows this good and well. Like you've seen Frenchie, he slid maybe five or more times. And the first time he got a point on Anthony, but every time after that, Anthony got the point on him. And same thing with the rushing. He's rushing to either torso or head. Anthony knows it's coming. Anthony knows what to do. And he gets the point. Every time Frenchie does something different, he gets a point. But then he repeats it and Anthony gets a point. Absolutely. This is definitely, uh, 
Anthony playing it very smart, and Frenchie honestly not playing it very smart here. If I'm Frenchie and I am, you know, I'm down two points. This is round three. It's still a close match, but he's edging out. I would personally be thinking I need to change my strategy. I need to be more patient. I need to be more careful. If I'm Anthony, I'm thinking I just got to wait for this guy to let me beat him because he's just rushing in. Yeah, he's getting a point every now and again, but I'm getting a point you know, just a little bit more, a little bit more often than he is, I would just maintain my pace. Uh, so that being said, we're just going to go into round three now. Uh, I'm starting to get carpal tunnel syndrome. And here we go. Uh, Anthony with the big strike. Frenchie with the fool's guard, not really bothering to get a five block in there. If he got the five block, he would have been able to have reposted and probably got the point. Looks like that hit the Suba. And, ooh, looks like Anthony might have clipped Frenchie on the hands, but doesn't look like either of them felt the hit. Uh, they're going to... Oh, halt was called. Uh, something is happening. Oh, a point is awarded, 21 to 18. So there was a hit in that last exchange. So good for the refs. I got confused when I saw that happen. And here we go, re-engaging yet again. Frenchy coming in, Anthony doing some tippy toes. Ooh, big hit under the hand. Doesn't hit though. And ooh, that one's gonna hit Frenchy right on the armor. Well done from Anthony, 22 to 18. There is a bit of variation going on. Frenchy is no longer just charging in. He is being more smart about it and he's starting to give Anthony some trouble. What? <laughs> oh, I, maybe it timed out. I did not know what the heck happened there. Okay, I'm going, oh they went until the end of the time yeah that's what i just said i was just getting into it i know oh my gosh i'm not cutting this part out so no. that fight happened i'm stupid i didn't mark where this fight's round started and ended so you guys are going to see that part um anthony won 22 to 18 what are you thinking now adam what do we what are your comments um it was a beautiful fight um frenchie started out really strong but he does a typical Frenchie move, and he just repeats the same move that worked the first time. But here's the thing about sword fighting, is just because one thing works once, doesn't mean it will work again. And if you repeat it, you're going to lose. Alright, and then if you're Anthony, what are you, what are you thinking after this fight? Um, I'm thinking that maybe I don't want to fight Frenchie again because he's really aggressive and I don't like fighting aggressive people. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> that, that's really all I got. But no. They're, really they're, putting yourself in Anthony's shoes there. Really putting yourself in Anthony's really shoes. Are, more like uh, taking Anthony's shoes, looking at them saying, they don't fit me, let me get my own shoes. But uh, anyways, Anthony actually did really great. He adapted really well. Uh, he he didn't play along with Frenchie, but at the same time, Frenchie didn't get upset. He got hyped up, but he didn't get riled up. So that that's kind of good. But the problem is, uh, yeah, Frenchie didn't really adapt until the end, and Anthony was just adapting as he went, which was great. There's not much I can say for Anthony because of how Frenchie did. So we are now going to uh, end this video. Um, my closing statement is overall really great fight. Frenchie, still got a lot of work to do. Anthony, honestly, we still got a lot of work to do with you two. Um, but all in all, I would give this fight out of 10 points a B plus. How, what would you, out of 10 points, what would you give it? Out of 10 plus, I'm definitely going to give it four and a half stars. I... <laughs> 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 and with that, we're going to, we're going to call it, uh, how do we stop the recording? Toodles!